documentary of Terrence Leroy Baker, The Son of the Streets, the author. You can look him up at sonofthestreets.com. Right now, he's going to come in. You know, we're going to ask him a few questions about his life and how he became an author. Um, you know, that's basically the sums it up and everything. But give me one second. I'm going to walk him in real quick. Terrence, are you ready? Yes, I am, sir. Right now, this is Terrence Leroy Baker, the author of The Sun of the Street. How you doing, How you, how you doing, Mr. Baker? Pretty good. How about yourself? Okay, I'm, I'm pretty good. You know, it'd be better, you know. Tell me about yourself. What's going on today? Man, I'm not doing too much. How, how you doing? Pretty good. So, how is the uh, the book of The Sun of the Street going? Well, it's doing pretty good right now. I'm doing real good as far as ebooks and stuff like that. My ebook sales is doing pretty good. It's been a few years since it's been out right now. It's like you plant a seed and then right now I'm watching it grow. So I'm, so, I'm real happy about that. So let me know a little bit about the ebooks. Well, as far as the digital era that we're in right now, um, everything moves to ebooks now. You know, and uh, everything. Yeah, when the first when the book first came out, it was all about the hard copies and you know selling books. But now. Uh, it's all about ebooks. So right now I'm more focused on ebooks and that's what's working for me. So let me know uh, how, how do ebooks go? Well, like you can order the Sun of the Streets off uh, iBook, e Kindle, Nook, you know, and how that works is that basically I don't have to deal with inventory mm -hmm. as much as I would have to deal with it if I was dealing with sales and shipments and returns. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of things you do when you deal with distribution and dealing with bookstores and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Today, in this day now, it's easier to just deal with ebooks. I mm -hmm. mean, but I do a lot of book sales through, e through Amazon. I, I like dealing with Amazon. That, that's a good business to deal with as far as doing the hard, hard copy sales. But uh, I got my own website at thesunstreets.com, my own blog and everything. I, it's easier for me to direct traffic directly to my email. I feel more involved with this. So, sales. are you doing blog or blog? I'm doing blogging and vlogging actually. Um, uh, I do video vlogging where I'm actually reading the Sun of the Streets. You know, I'm reading the whole book out on my blog. Uh, you can go to my blog at. At uh, www or you can go to thesunnestreets.com and uh, and keep up with, updated with it. I, I'm read pretty much reading the whole book to everybody. I'm kind of like giving it's like a giveaway, you know. So, so it, it, are, are you current with that? Yeah, I'm doing it. I, I'm on it every day. Man. You can just keep. keep yeah. Actually, uh, I already have three chapters already read on there. You know, if you want got a chance, go to thesunnestreets.com. You can read that. Subscribe to my blog. Keep updated with it, and you get an email every time I post a new chapter and then probably be done in the next couple weeks. So, I, I personally only write a certain time of the year, you know. Yeah. I don't force myself to write all year long, yeah, yeah. you what, know. What, what's, your, what's your favorite time of the year? It depends, like really the summertime when it's nice out, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, I go outside and write a little bit. I like I like when the weather's nice, you know what yeah. I'm saying, I like to be able to go outside and write. You know? Write and sleep, you don't yeah. care. No, it don't matter. I write, but when I write, I can write a book in two weeks, okay. three weeks. Okay, you know? so let me ask you a question, like are you just like Doing like you just sit in the Midwest or where, where do you go? Well, I I, I I I do most of my book sales in New York. Most of my most of my fans, most of my readers in the New York area. Mm -hmm. When I release the Sun of the Streets, even though I'm from the Midwest, I'm from South Bend, Indiana. I release it in New York. So mm -hmm. I release it in the New York area. I have my peddler license out there. I go out there. I sell books on the streets. I, I have my license to do that legally. I, I, I'm connected a little bit out to New York area with the independent bookstores. It's like a little. It's like a little community okay. out there, okay. and it's a lot. Of, it's a, it's a small community where an author can make a living if he wants to. You know, a small living. But it would be enough for living to live in New York. So, like, what, what, what goes on in New York? How, really? How is it? The thing about New York that makes it easy is that you don't have to drive anywhere. You know what nope. I'm saying? It's like that, that's that's what makes it easy. You know, mm -hmm. when you go to New York, you just go out there. You you can get a uh, where where I, I go to the Midtown area. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I stay in New Jersey, <laughs> catch a train in, catch a train in, get get a a, a a cab up to my corner on Midtown, wherever I'm at, mm -hmm. close to 51st and like. Uh, 8th Ave in that area. Yeah. I worked the area to a little later on. I go on to the to the to the uh, theater district. I worked the area from like nine to eleven. Then I go on Seventh Avenue. Work Seventh Avenue for the rest of the night, probably to two or three o'clock in the morning. But when I go out there, I might work fifteen hours on the streets of New York. And these all are book sales. Book sales completely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and 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 it's good money because um, it's, it's 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 I think it's the fact that. It, it takes a time to do it, but I, I remember I used to sell, you know, illegal narcotics back in the days. And I used to think about the $10 sales I used to make. Yeah. And, and it's so different when you sell a book for $10 than when you sell a person a product that can mess their body up and get them in trouble. Yes, you know what I'm saying? So it's like every time I sell somebody something, I'm also signing it to them. I'm, becoming, I'm getting hugging them. I'm getting to know these people. And I get more personal with the readers. And that works for me, you know. So I try to go out to New York from a morning weekend to Black Friday every year. I'm out there for at least six months a year. That's what I do. That sounds great, Mr. Baker. 
you know. Um, so like on your free time, what do you do? Well, I have a, I, I have a few different hobbies, you know what I'm saying? I work out. I, I'm really into working out, keeping my body right, staying healthy, you know what I'm saying? I travel a lot, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, I play a little bit of poker, but I'm not really a gambler. But other than that, you know, I just, you know, I I, I like to just have a good time, man. And, and, and I like money, you know? Yeah. I like money. So I'm anything, really not working to me is like a waste of life because when I'm not writing, I'm focusing on the selling of the, of the material I wrote. So I, I feel like... It's it's very hard work for me when I'm writing, okay. but I spend a lot of time writing before I actually sit, sit down and start writing. I'm processing, processing, okay. thinking, thinking. What am I gonna write about? Okay, I process the whole book in my head before I even take a picture, the pen to paper ever. Okay, let me ask you this question: How about woman-wise? You, you do, are you in a relationship? I'm divorced. I I I've, I've had five children. You know, mm -hmm. I have five children by five different women. Yeah. Yeah, I've been through a lot as far as that, and uh. I, I I had a child in wedlock, you know. I was married uh, to to the one of my dreams. She's in the book. The Son of the Streets is written pretty much. It's our story, you know. Mm -hmm. We went through something, you know. We both got shot, you know. what I'm saying we almost lost our lives together, and I kind of put her in harm's way, you know. Yeah. I felt like, you know, I owed her her freedom, and I kind of just let her go, you know. So I let you, go of my heart, you know. Would you, would, you, would, you, would you ever do marriage again? Right. Or, or, I I don't know how to marry. I I don't know. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't know. You know. I, I don't know. You know. I, me personally, I don't know. Me personally, I never been married, but I was just, you know, asking. I know divorce hurt a lot. It hurt it. I couldn't get up. Well. But that's in the book too, so you know, just well, read the book, Sun of the Streets. I would, you know, you know I, would, I would definitely read the book. Yeah, man. I would yeah. definitely read the book. You'll you know. enjoy it. I like heard, I said, I, the book is available on ebook. You know, I know. heard, I heard a lot about the book. About the book. Sorry if I get emotional. Sometimes. <clears throat> it's just, it, 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 I'm a man, you know, but it's hard. It's hard to it's hard to deal with some of the issues I went through in that book. You, you know? know, I'm not trying to take you too emotional. Yeah, you know, I know you but, want, you know, you know. But at the same time, I I, I do want to know, you know, I want to know a little bit about you. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's, it's hard to give you you, you know. It's cause that's why it's easy to write. Cause talking not easy for me, you know. Yeah. Writing is easy for me, you know. You know, just write it down in the book, huh? Sometimes you can't put it all in a book, though. So it's good to have these interviews. Too it's much. Huh? It's good to get, to get a reality check every now and then, you know. Understandable. Yeah. Understandable. That's good. Well, I'm so glad to uh, actually have her sit down, you know, and talk with you. You know, what I'm saying, you know, it's I, uh, I seen, you know, Mr. Terrence Leeward Baker, uh, some of the streets. I I did read this part of it. You know, I didn't read it all, but I did read some of it. You know, just to see your name on the book, and then I actually sit down and have a have a talk with you is so great. I appreciate the support. You know, I promise you this now. I'm going to keep writing. Make sure you finish the book.